Welcome. My name is Lisa Riedmann and I would like to show you how important it is to make full use of the space available right from the planning stage. This practical L kitchen provides enough space to keep all the storage items needed by a small family and holds a double benefit. But I'll tell you more about that later. Guests are coming around and I would like to lay the table before they arrive. Glasses first. They're in the wall cabinet and I can't reach them because I'm not very tall. With a single touch on a very special solution, something special glides out of it. Our Space Step Plinth solution gives me easy access to high storage levels. And wall cabinets equipped with Aventus lift systems provide me easy access. Fronts glide up and are out of the way. They will stay exactly where you want them to, thanks. The variable stop and will always be within easy reach for closing. It's even easier with servo drive. Just press a button and the fronts open and close. Space step also creates extra storage space. All I have to do is push the step back to get to the drawer underneath. The plinth needs to be at least 150 millimeters, which you have to take into account when planning the project. Space Twin, our solution for narrow cabinets, allows you to maximize space available. I think it's a very practical eye catcher. But let's get back to laying the table. I still need cutlery and plates. No more chaos in the drawers. With our Orgaline inner dividing system, you beautifully organize the interiors. Now I have to take the plates out of the pullout. But can you have a table without flowers? Let me quickly get a vase. We fitted our new Aventus HKI into this wall cabinet, but you can hardly see it because it's integrated in the side panel. The waste system is directly under the sink, so I can quickly throw the wrapping away. That's it. Let me just quickly check the hallway stand. It's on the reverse side of this kitchen, so it also serves as a room divider. Everything's nice and tidy and I'm ready for my guests. <laughs>